This is WVTM 13 weather. It was a really nice Saturday evening, especially for those that headed out to the football game in Tuscaloosa. But today was hot. Temperatures climbed to 89 degrees in Birmingham. We had a lot of sunshine and that drier air is able to heat more efficiently. So temperatures really rose today. We're gradually cooling now 75 degrees in Birmingham and Alabaster Tuscaloosa at 78. Coleman already at 66 and Etowah County slowly behind at 72. So gradually cooling. It'll be another comfortable night tonight. WVTM 13 Live Doppler radar is completely clear. Earlier we saw a few active showers and storms in northeast Alabama, places like Etowah County, uh, parts of Anniston up toward uh, Marshall County and then even up uh, further north. But most of us stay dry today as expected. There is a little disturbance uh, to the north and east of us here, and that's what's stirring up some showers hours in northeast Alabama and then you can see over in parts of Georgia as well. Tomorrow a few more showers, a couple isolated storms possible, but I think a lot of them stay east of I-65 just like we saw today. Tonight very comfortable temperatures dip down into the 70s and now and then eventually we drop to the mid to upper 60s overnight. A couple pot spots of patchy fog is possible in east Alabama where we saw those showers and storms earlier, but not a huge issue. And then by tomorrow afternoon, we're warming back up highs in the mid to upper 80s here in Birmingham and then further south. I think we'll reach the upper 80s places further nor north like Coleman and Blount County might see uh, mid 80s. So we still have this northwesterly flow that's uh, bringing drier and a slightly cooler air down south. But into Monday and Tuesday, we see a shift in the winds and that will provide us with a little bit more humidity in the air with more moisture in the air that sets the stage for a couple showers and thunderstorms midweek with a couple disturbances passing through. So something that we'll be watching for then until Tuesday, Wednesday. It stays pretty dry around here tomorrow. Again, highs in the mid to upper 80s. It'll be hot, but the air still drier, so it is more comfortable. And then through the afternoon and the ev evening, slight chance of a shower. We are trending down in temperature next week. I think by Thursday and Friday, we're seeing temperatures in the low 80s and a couple of showers. We're watching then too. Carrie.